What's up guys, SP Architects here. Today we are going to be talking about floor plan, a kind of floor plan detailings in ArchiCAD. Sometimes you want to determine your plot area or working area in your floor plan. If they are polygonal shapes, it's easier to represent with simple lines and text. If not, what if your predetermined area is a kind of organic shape in that time it will be necessary to use curved text along your area so in this video we are going to be talking about curved text along the path all right then let's get started all right here we are in our kit and at the very first we are going to change the unit system first let's go to options menu project preferences and working units we are going to change this land unit millimeter to centimeter and let's click ok in order to create our purpose for this video we are going to go to object tool and then we go to its settings under the furnishing we have this decoration 25 of course 25 is temporary it's gonna be changing according to your archicad version after that we have this 3d text Let's click that and we are going to input a specific name here for instance plot area or you can input your site area or working area etc let's click ok and place here floor plan and if we go to the south elevation here we will see our text 3d text we are going to turn this 3D text to a spline text. But the problem is size of the text. We are going to change the size of the text and fix to a specific text size. In order to do that, we are going to take help from a text under the documentation from the text tool. Let's click that and place a text. And doesn't matter, type something in. And it says 3 millimeters. If you want to make this 10, for your plot area text you can input here 10 by the way they are the same same in the same size as you can see well you can change the scale of this plot area text according to this scale size anyway moving on i'm gonna reduce this height to 5 millimeters therefore we are going to input here 50 and let's click ok after doing that, we are going to click our plot area, hit Ctrl plus C and go to ground floor and paste here. And once this is created, we are going to clean the inside fills. In order to do that, we are going to click the fill tool and hit Ctrl plus A and hit the delete. There we have cleaned our fills. And once we have this, I want to add some additional lines, helping lines for our plot, plot area text, for instance, like this. And I wanna leave a space between P and the line. And then I'm gonna copy or mirror to the right side of the text. Once this is done, we can just get rid of the old text, 3D text. And we are going to select all of the text and lines. Go to edit, copy. Then we go to options, element attributes and lines. With the lines tool, you can create lines, edit lines and duplicate lines for your project. In this situation, we are going to click new. And we are going to choose symbol. And as for the name, I'm going to put here text plot area. And then click OK. Once you have that, you are going to see copy and paste. In this station, you are going to click paste here. And there you will see your plot area text in the edit select type. After that, you can see a symbol similar to a flag, black flag and white flag. These flags are changeable, but we are not going to change them. 
If we change them, the text size can be changed. Therefore, I'm not going to touch this one. Maybe I can use this one for adding some gap. You will see the preview plot area text over here. And you can move this helper line till you get satisfied. After that, there are two addition options that we can choose here. One of them is model size, one of them is paper size. With the scale with plan, your text will be changed according to your scale of your file. With the scale independent, your text will be rescaled according to your scale of your project. Okay, let's click OK. And look at what we have. Let's just get rid of this one and go to spline tool, go to line type, and here we will see our new plot area text. Let's click that and make our spline. Once you've finished, click again and there we go. We have our curved text along the spline. You can also use this with line tool. Let's go to rectangle. And with the circle. Alright, that's how you can create curved text along the path in ArchiCAD. I hope you have enjoyed with the tutorial. If you have any question or suggestion, please comment in the comment section below. And I also want to give my special thanks to my Patreon supporters. If you want to be one of them, I'll be waiting for you. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.